So what Barbara just talked about in terms of human-centered design, uh, I'm going to connect this a little bit to AI and make it a little more visceral and hopefully illustrate why it's important that we need to think about this in a very particular talk and bridging to the next session. Uh, I'm still me. <laughs> so let's start with the brain teaser. Um, I have a mine, and 1% of the rocks in this mine are this rare and valuable mineral, unobtainium. <laughs> I have a detector. And if unobtainium is present, my detector is perfect. It always detects the unobtainium. But if it's not there, I get uh, a false positive 90% of the time. Or, sorry, let's say that correctly. Woo, it's correct 90% of the time. Uh, <laughs> so it's pretty good. It's, it's perfect when it's there and pretty good when it's not there. So I have a rock. Uh, the detector says this is a piece of unobtainium. If the detector is correct, it's worth $1,000. I'm selling this rock. <laughs> Who's buying? All right. So we've got buyers. No thank you. And please give me three more minutes to do the math. <laughs> All right. So even if you're not willing to commit, you see where there's an issue here. Like we've got in probabilities we have to interpret. And even if you've taken the intro stats class where you learn how to do this calculation, you have to stop and think. So the answer is no, don't buy the rock. Uh, because if I have 100 rocks uh, that would be worth this price, only about 1 in 11 that would be, the detector would say this is unobtainium would actually be unobtainium. Because I've got 100 rocks, one of them is actually the unobtainium, but I got 10 false positives. So 1 in 11. So this is probably not unobtainium, not a safe bet, not worth $200. Now let's change the story. I'm screening at the airport. I have a detector. It says a particular person is a threat. What's the probability this person is actually a threat? And we can change the story to any of the applications we're going to talk about with AI, uh, image detection and image analysis. So this is something that the contexts are increasing and growing in both military and civilian applications. So, Long-standing science, and this is just one tiny example, making probabilistic judgments is hard. And Co COGSI has been working on this for a very long time. Moreover, depending on how probabilities are presented, people will make different choices. So I can tell you the same story and say, well, would you rather case A or case B? I change the wording, and I don't change the math. And one case, everybody chooses A, or in different, everybody chooses case B. So how we present probabilities and how people perceive risk also comes into these judgments. And so when we talk about explainable AI, it's not sufficient for explainable AI to just give people probabilities. In fact, a lot of the work right now is on providing those probabilities. And hopefully, I have demonstrated that that's not quite enough information for the humans to make good judgments. We need to, and it even goes beyond, well, these are the pixels that are causing this probability. We need to help the humans interpret those probabilities correctly. So we need to think about the human-centered design and the human-computer interaction so that we can help people make good decisions from the information that the AI is providing us. Thank you.